Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn where I hope I said that at the beginning of the last one and not like um Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Anyway. Big shiny red button that I can't press, cool beans. Just a little long. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know. Twenty drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW, when you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, that everything will be the way it used to be. Yeah, except it's not! It wouldn't! Project Zero Dawn's literally self-annihilation. I know, it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm's getting better at predicting us. Less of us now. And we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had in the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. Yeah. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is you. Is oh, there a dawn to turn this around? Whatever the hell that is. Yeah, that was a big jump. Went from very hopeful to not so hopeful in one small leap. The furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? We it was the metal world. I guess they were used to it. <laughs> Let me put cushions on things. <laughs> we had metal butts. It was all all the same to us. Am I going the right way? What? Oh, there is one here. I didn't see it. Uh Looking back, I thought 64 was shaping up to be a pretty good year. No more drinking and no more mercenary sec work. Stripping offshore wind farms for the OEZ. Just me and a plasma cutter, 400 feet above sea level. Then I got the recall alert. Re read them up on a turbine in the smell of cooking ozone. They covered every angle. Better pay, amnesty for any combine wars you'd fought in, guaranteed citizenship. We should have thought, okay, what's the catch? But what we did think was, I guess we're better than the bots after all. Big talk from Harry is about pride and duty. Smart guy, he was right. I've been proud to be a U.S. soldier. I jumped at the chance to be one again, and look what I landed in. Yikes! So they, so they have been phasing out real soldiers. Interesting. I didn't think they'd ever do that. It's too much patriotism for all the good it does you. Just one bed. Maybe their war chief's room. In this in here, I don't even see a bed. Last night we talked about getting about D-Day 55. I was a kid then, only a few years out of boot camp. General assembly in a drone hangar, summer in the sky was bare, the heat was killer. They say US human combat forces are being disbanded, all automated now, where the last cycle's tech, out like the old net. A million more on basic in a century, rece in a century recession. Could be you'll be you'll help build the robots that took your jobs, or if you know how to handle a power suit, you could find a place that still uses manual labor, maybe in the OEZ or China, where you're not our problem. Low suicide risk, it said in my discharge file. Okay. Yeah. Well, you take what people you know you take away what people have been working for their whole lives. All of a sudden, things aren't gonna be pretty. We treat our soldiers very poorly. Every country does. No one takes correct care of their soldiers like they should. Huh. They do a lot more than any of us could do. Is this one of those things where I jump? Oh good. Okay. That 
That's got to be so hard to do. All right, well, you're... Red light. Red this light! no power. These wires must run to the power source. Power conductor. Oh. What are you beeping at? Oh, there. Oh. Okay. Whatever power this door should be close by. Those? Okay. Or those? Oh, buddy. Okay. Multiples. So I have to go down there and there. And. Oh boy. Okay. All three. There's this. Shh. That makes poopy sounds at me. It's not Halloween yet. I wanted to play a scary game for October. Since I was a little kid. Oh my gosh! Kind of I don't remember. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay. But yeah, Odyssey's coming useful out. Useful information. What's useful information? Data shows required settings for nearby hollow locks. Do I click on it or? Oh, okay. I see. Um. This this one. Okay. No no no. This one. No? Okay, wrong button. Hmm. What are you doing? It doesn't look anything like those. Unless oh, unless it means okay. Unless it doesn't have to be, like, horizontal or anything perfect. It's just pointing me in the general direction. Oh. Three power lines. Three sources. That makes one. Perfect. Now for this one. Okay, we can just do that. Come on. No. Oh. Oh. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry free from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. <laughs> if we're going left to right, then this will be the order you do. <laughs> Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the mouth of Mike the GT Tech, did you? I always smell suppressed. Oh, come on. Never eat. Oh no! Wait. Is it? Is it? Was it? West and then. That's yes. Cheese. Okay. One more. <laughs> this is, seems kind of pointless, to be honest. That was funny. At least they changed it up a bit. gonna tell me the answers okay in the slightly different format okay up interestingly enough I think this the one other one started hang on oh no it did start next to the glowing beacon I was like I think they did it a little bit backwards but up up down down okay switching that up too not every single one of them has to be in a different position It. Sounds like that did it. Now we go. And we jump. 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 Okay. <laughs> and then we... Uh... 
Oh, I, I was already at the door. Sometimes it's a little hard to see. Everything kind of looks the same in this lighting, like with these colors. Hello? Must be used. Impresses. No eclipse. Must be another way. Hello. Another one of these power cells. <gasps> Score! What do I do with it? That's for that like level, really high level thing that I have to do, I think. Oh my gosh. Wait, uh. Bob and Bobette and Joe and Jane and Jingles. Must be another way in. Are you joking me? Bro, we did a whole lot of work just to get in this door. And we have the sneak scoot the sneak suit on. It's them, alright. Yeah, where do I go now? They're not looking for answers. Just weapons. Kill them! Kill! Well, I could funnel them into this choke, I guess. Precision arrow. Let's use the precision. Oh, hang on. Trying to come in. I was kind of hoping more damage would happen. But when they get shocked, they don't really take damage. They just kind of. If you'd have kept going, you'd run into the cool stuff, my guys. gone through
weird. Have you all forgotten me so quickly? Look out, it's her! Gimme! I'm stuck. Gotta slow mo him. <laughs> it's not like they're not obvious with <laughs> these giant. thing now the other one is that just their machine and slow I'm just trying to scare that Killed the machine. Now they're hunting me. Who is? Okay, hang on. First, we need to pick up these. So, next time, don't use electricity when I'm trying to sneak them into a trap. Like that was the face of a very unhappy machine. Like for the most part, they're just like la di da, we're doing, we please, you know, just doing our thing, and then it's like we're murder machines. Love all the gear, love all the gear. Thanks, guys. Whoop, that's not the way, but it is a way up here. I did kill a man over here. I heard him scream. Does, does anybody even really know what all this- Whoa! I pinned her to the- Oh my gosh! I'm really unhappy with the way that's- Of every 
anything. They're all still twitching. Twitchy. Twitchy sons of guns, sons and daughters of guns. Didn't get to use that thing. Oh wait. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. This is useful. Yeah, it is. Who's this dude? Oh, interesting. Okay. I think I have the thing that lets me uh excuse me, move a little faster when I'm carrying these, which is nice, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. It it almost seems like I don't know if they put these up for light. They probably did, not for like worship or anything. My thing is, is like how like it's it's entirely possible for an entire civilization to forget where it came from and all that. But at the same time, it's it's so hard to believe that they that like the survivors of something like this could have not passed on exactly what happened. In a lot of ways. Oops. Oh, okay. I was like, I thought it was a jumping place, but that's what makes me think that they're probably maybe clones. Like everybody's just a what? clone. But I tan this leather well. It'll keep. I thought I was supposed to jump. Was I not supposed to jump? Oh, um, is there? Climbing? Okay. Sort of. You guys couldn't have used nicer ambient lighting. Like, the stuff that was here was nice. Approved for release. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed ah, everyone turning this around. They edited it. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. They edited it. Any mails going out? I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long. We have to put into work for everyone. Like a family business. I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. Uh, I'm still fighting for you. That's so dumb. It's like, you're fighting against machines, man. Like... Just let him say what he wants to say to his- he's gonna die. Like, let him say what he wants to say to his family, you know? Rejected for delivery. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. People are dumb, you know? And people are people. But that was that was refused for uh, rejected for delivery. Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound. They sound recycled, phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one Earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames, that wasn't the robots. 
They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. It is really sad, ma'am. People in charge are just monsters. It's like, oh, we have to keep morale up, blah, blah, blah. No. No, you don't. You're just doing it so you can control the soldiers and the civilians. Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. And she's not dumb Everyone either. She knows. Notice. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andreas and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting. But when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever going to be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. Oh, why? This is so sad. This is like the final moments and like so many people died. So many people died. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Employment records. Operation Kickback, No Nevada, Civilian Guard and Armor Battalions, Skirmish with Vanguard Elements, Pacific Northwest, Swarm PN 12, Engagement began at 600 and uh, losses in excess of 40%. Uh, fought a rear guard action against the Eastern Seaborn Swarm. They reported the position of a run and received authorization to detonate the SATEC facility, inflicting significant damage on ES 17. Surviving elements of 12th MRB withdrawn to the Akon Cleveland defensive line. Operation Body Blow, supported by sustained aerial strikes, Titan resupply the Eastern Seaboard. Um, engagement began at 400. Include note that this is the third M our ninth M this is ninth MRB's third Titan killed minimal losses. Brigade readiness status: the third MRB refused recall orders from Operation Pinch hit deployment in along Pelascola. Tallahassee defensive line. Court martial proceedings. You're gonna bother with court martial proceedings when the world's gonna end? 7th NMRB. Recalled from New York engagement zone to reinforce Wichita Theater. Um, 9th MRB refitting at USRC facilities. The 10th MRB is transferred to, from Calmar. Blah, blah, blah. This is really freaking sad, and I don't want to be in here anymore. I'm gonna go do some lighthearted quests after this. Too much end of the world is sad. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? <laughs> During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this. She is oh snap! We'll discuss this next time. Back to the matter at hand. <laughs> She's so no dummy. Are spreading across the world, eating everything up. Oh, look at it go. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? I don't think she did. Oh, I don't want to be in here. It's a sad place. There's a touchpad thing. Oh, did you see that? I think I'd seen something about that before forever ago. That, like, her, like, going to town, like, like being, like, just matter-of-factly being, like, no, the, 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 the moon, the shadow of the moon cast on the earth is, is round. Or is, uh, you know, okay, I, I don't know. But you know what I mean. I'm messing it up now. I'm probably gonna say it wrong, but you know. It's like definitive proof that the earth is round and she's just like, I'm not an idiot. Like Is there And he's like totally he's thinking she's just some like barbarian and he's like this bringer of all knowledge because he spent his whole life being isolated and Searching for knowledge, and she's like, well, duh. Like, this is very obvious. I'd have to ditch something. Oh my gosh, for reals? Oh my. 
I have too much of everything. I need to find a boar. I was like, ah, I feel like something's gonna happen! Ooh. Oh, it's the center of the metal devil. Oh my gosh. Uh, is that in space? The eclipse. Tampering with the metal devil. Please stop. Please. How do you even see out of those? They don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! Is it? Oh, it popped out a destroyer. against a uh, human incursion. Just holding it won't scare them off. Need ammo. <laughs> you make it a good point. Um, I will need more of these. Oh no! I was gonna try to... I was gonna say I could be at least be able to back up where it can't reach me, but... And I could get more of the ridgewood in there. Anyway, I'm gonna have to leave it off here, I think, uh, because I think we're, uh, running out of time. But, um, wow. It doesn't look, the face, it, it looks like it has multiple eyes. It looks maybe more spider-like than, uh, anything else. Like, more than, than squid-like or octopus-like, I think. Um, but, yeah, this is a, this is a depressing story. Like, just thinking about everything all the families and children and wives and husbands and lovers and friends and people just billions of people died <laughs> because of one man's hubris and well not just his like he had a support structure right like people were like oh yeah this guy knows what he's doing and we're gonna get money off of him and i'm a proud a-hole so i'm just gonna go along with it and get lots of money screw you got mine it's like we're all gonna die in the end no bunker's gonna save you from this like, I don't know. Ugh, it's just depressing and a little too real. But, anyway. We're gonna kick this thing's trash when we get back. And go do some happy fun quests in the wide open world. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you're enjoying. And I hope to see you in the next one.